Video R2, area and perimeter, covers compound shapes. Compound shapes are usually shapes that are made up of two or more rectangles. Here's an example. For these, you can work out the perimeter and you can also work out the area. So let's start with perimeter. To work out the perimeter, you need to know all of the dimensions. And at the moment, we only know four of them. So we have a mystery dimension here and a mystery dimension here. You cannot measure them because quite often they are drawn not to scale such that you can't actually measure the dimensions. You have to do some calculating. So to work out this one here, what we'll do is we'll say this whole measurement along the bottom is 9. This element of that line, this part of it, is 3. So the missing part must be 6 metres. Doing the same going up and down the sides, we have a 6 metre line here. And this smaller one is only 4. They're both vertical. This element here would be the difference between the two, which is 2 metres. So now we have all of the um, dimensions, we can start working out the perimeter. Let's pick a starting point. If we go clockwise, I'll just change colour of pen to make it easier to spot what I'm doing. Let's move around the edge. Let's go 3, add 2 would give you 5, add 6 would give you 11, add 4 would give you 15, add 9 is 24, and add the last 6 would give you 30. There's no rule to say how you should add up all of those measurements. There's quite a few. If you've got a better way, like possibly matching numbers that give you a number bond to 10 maybe, then you can use that method. It's up to you as long as you are careful that you're accurate. Okay, so let's switch to another colour to do the area. To work out the area of this compound shape, you need to split it into rectangles. So if we put a line going down here, let rectangle on the right, rectangle on the left. Let's do the one on the left first of all. The dimensions of this rectangle are 3 metres wide and 6 metres long. So we've got 3 times 6, which will give us 18 square metres altogether. The one on the right hand side, you need to be careful to make sure that you're following the correct dimensions. This one would be 6 times 4, which would give you 24. Be very careful because it's so tempting to look at this 9, but remember the 9 goes all the way along the bottom and not just this little measurement here. So we've got our two areas, let's add those together. We get 18 for the smaller one, we get 24 for the larger, and then all we do is add them together. So 8 and 4 makes 12, and adding up the 10s, we would get 42. The unit would be metres squared. There is another way to do that area, which I'll show you on the next example. Okay, let's try this one. So we've got missing dimensions. Let's switch back to the red. Here we go, this dimension here. 12 is the long length, 4 is the short length, so the difference would be 8 metres. And going along, we have got 3 metres for this short bit and 8 metres for this longer bit, so altogether we'd have 11 metres. So let's work out our perimeter. I'll get another colour to go around the edge, let's go yellow. Starting in this top corner, we've got 3, add 4 makes 7, add 8 makes 15, add 8 makes 23, Add 11 makes 34, add 12 makes 46, so 46 metres, remember it's a linear length. Working out the area. Let's try that other method I was mentioning. So here we can do a slightly different method. What I'm going to do is the boxing in method, which is where you make this compound shape into a rectangle. And then the idea is you work out the area of the entire rectangle and then you just take away whatever the area of that corner is. So the total area would be 11 times 12, which would give us 132 metres squared. The area of this little corner here would be 4 times 8, which is 32 metres squared. And then you take that away to give you 100 metres squared altogether. Just an alternative way.